Hey guys, it's Alex, and welcome back to Ruby Tutorials for Beginners. In this video, I'll be teaching you about arrays. Now, if you have no prior knowledge um, in programming, then chances are you probably don't know what's an array. But don't worry, array is a simple um, data type that you should know about. Um, actually, you will know about um, after this video. It's a pretty important uh, thing in programming. It's used a lot. So, yeah, make sure you remember it. Now, what's an array? So, basically, you can think of array uh, an array as, um, let's say, a bag. And you have a bag that contains all kinds of stuff like you can have a bag that contains like um, sunglasses and food products and toys and your phone anything you want right um but it's not actually exactly a bag because it's not ordered right in a bag everything is just like in one place an array is basically a data type that has multiple items but they're also ordered um, and they're not ordered like alphabetically or anything, but they have like a position like first position, second position like that. So let me just create an array and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to create an array called R and we're just going to to define a new array. You can do um, two brackets and uh, an array can hold any data types you want. So, for example, in C++, C++ um, an array and in, in C sharp also an array can only hold of uh, only integers or, or only strings in Ruby and in pretty much every scripting language um, it's you can, you can hold whatever you want so you can have a string so let's say my name Alex then I can also have my age 17 then I can also have my nationality nationality Bulgarian so and I can even have a flow, for example, I don't know, like uh, one point, one point, whatever. And those are all items in an array, right? We have the first item, the second item, the third item, and the fourth item. Now let's just put out that array and see what we get. We get Alex 17 Bulgarian 1.2897, right? That's not a problem. And we have not defined four different variables. This is one variable that holds all these items. Now, one key thing to remember about arrays is remember when I said that every item has a position, right? First position, second position. Yeah, the position starts at zero. So Alex is at position zero. 17 is at position one. Bulgarian is at position uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, and then this is at position 3. Um, so, in two axes, for example, only the first item, for example, if we want to only output Alex, we just say, you know, R, the name of the array, which is R, I said it right here, the name of the array, brackets, and the position that we want. So, I want the first position, so I'm going to type in 0, because it's our set from 0. Now let me just clear that, and we can see that I only got Alex. Now, for example, if I want the second one, I'm just going to type in 1, right? It's pretty straightforward. Now, if I want the last one, I'm going to, so there are four items, and I want the last one. I'm going to type in 3. Yep, there we go. I get the last one. Now, what will happen if I enter 4, and we don't have, uh, like, a fifth item right here? Let's see. Nothing, because it's a uh, it will automatically just set it to zero, uh, to nil actually. So we get nothing. Now if you put out the array again, we see all the items because we have not specified a position right uh, right here. All right. Now um, now that you have a basic understanding of what an array is, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, ways that you can set an array. So let's create a variable, and we can do um, this is one of the ways to set an array. So you can do array dot new, and then you can set, for example, three items that you wanted to hold three items, and then you can set the default for everyone to be, for example, um, yes. Now, if you put out the array, we get three yeses because we have three. We have defined uh, three items in the array, and the default value is yes. Now we can also override it. So, for example, we can say R, and in the first, I mean, in the last position, we want it to be equal to no. So, what if we save it and run it again? We get yes, yes, no, because we overwrote uh, it. We can overwrite items. So, 
Um, we can also create an array like this. Just array equals and then brackets. That's an empty array. If we output it, we will get absolutely nothing because we don't have anything. And now we can start uh, filling it in. For example, we can say array. In the first position, we want it to be yes. Let's save it and run it. We get yes. Array in the second position, we want it to be maybe. I don't know. And then an array in the third position, we want it to be no. And then one more. In the fourth position, we want it to be sometimes. Now let's put out the array. Now let me just clear that. And we get yes, maybe no, sometimes. And as you can see, when we first define the array, uh, we just don't put in any items. So, and then after that, we go ahead and put in all the items. I can also override that again. So let's say array at the position of zero is going to be no. And now it should be no no maybe no sometimes yeah no maybe no sometimes because we overwrote this all right it's pretty simple as you can see um all right now there's one more way you can just do array dot new you don't have to specify so this works perfectly fine and it's pretty much the same as just doing like that um so you can also do array zero equals yes let's save it and refresh we get yes um, and, but you can also set like three instances and what will happen if we don't put the default value. So when we put two arguments, we say we want three items with the default value of yes. But what if we just pass in one argument that will be three items? Well, we will just get three nil, uh, items. It's nil. It's not zero. It's not false. It's not boolean. It's just nil. Um, it's nothing basically. So those are the ways to create an array and to read an array. Um, in the next video, I'll show you a couple of array methods that are really helpful and useful when uh, using an array. So I'll see you in the next video.